So in part one, we looked at 12 games that were considered banned. Now here we are again with even more games that are considered banned. First up is the game Carmageddon, the game where you gain points by running over pedestrians. Now this game came out during the era of games like Doom, however this game was more of a victim of censorship than being banned. In the UK, pedestrians and cows were changed to zombies and the blood was reduced to the color of green, and the states have had more changes. The character of O.K. Stinson was changed to Juicy Jones and the blood on his shirt was reduced to the color of orange juice. Now it's no secret, Postal was a rather controversial game, but the sequel is where the franchise got into even more hot water. In Postal 2, you play a guy named Postal Dude, who has to do everyday things, but you can also do really disgusting acts like dismember people, lighting them on fire, and then proceeding to pee on them to put the fire out. New Zealand went to the extreme by first outright banning the game, and then going as far as arresting anyone who owned a copy. However, if you happen to have a copy, you can try playing the game without killing. It's called being a pacifist. Manhunt and Manhunt 2 are known as some of the most violent games ever made. You play James Earl Cash as he tries to fend off a horde of thugs hired by six silver dudes filming you to create a sick shock film. As James, you fend off thugs by suffocating them with plastic bags and other violent means, which caused the game to be banned all over the world and considered one of the most vile games ever created. The first few entries had reasons to be banned or censored. But Mark Echoes getting up, well, it has mild violence and hardly any controversial content. So who banned this game? None other than the Aussies. Australia felt the game promoted legal street art, and GTA San Andreas didn't. Yet here's another one from the guys at Rockstar Games with Bully. The game's set in a prep school while you either are the bully or avoiding the bully. Now not banned in the states, but in a small Brazilian province called Rio Grande do Sul. They felt the game being set in a school was harmful to teenagers, and anyone who sold it or owned was fined 1,000 Brazilian reels a day. Let's veer a bit from video games and go into trading card games, more specifically Pokemon. Yes, the globally loved game of pocket monsters called Pokemon was banned in Saudi Arabia. Why? Well, they deemed it a threat to their national security. But how can Pikachu and his fellow Pokemon be a threat? Well, the symbol of power resembles the Star of David, which is connected to Zionism and is an emblem of Israel. And promoting Zionism is forbidden in Saudi Arabia for geographical reasons. So both the trading card game and any of the other video games are banned in Saudi Arabia. Now let's talk about the one game franchise with a massive hot button issue, and that is Grand Theft Auto. We all know it had some pushback, but one country has taken it upon themselves to ban every single game in the franchise, and that is Thailand. Why? 
Well, back in 2008, a young man named Paul Watchino hailed a taxi, and when it was time for him to pay, he decided to stab the driver instead. When asked by authorities, he blamed GTA, claiming that killing seemed so easy in the game, thus causing the entire franchise to be outlawed completely. So let's wrap this up with a game with an extremely long name. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2. The game was banned in one region, and it was in Mexico, because the first mission paints the city of Ciudad Juarez in a bad light. In the mission, you join forces with Mexico to clear out guerrilla fighters in the streets, which caused brutal fights. So the real-life mayor of Juarez, Mexico, wasn't happy with the game. That painted his city as unsafe despite all the real-world drug violence going on there and convinced the governor of Chihuahua to order all copies of the game seized and forbidden from ever being sold, ever. So there are even more banned games. If I missed any, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to button mash the like button, hit that notification bell, and smash that subscribe button so you get the heads up when my next video is up. Till then, I am Paul saying peace out and stay frosty.